Okay guys, I'm now on the Osmo. We've just sat down, we've just had a bag of crisps each and some bottles of water. Just chilling out in the shade because it's very warm here today in Port of Ventura. I'm just going to get some footage of my can, of Dragon Khan and Shambhala. Neither will do today because the waits are too long as we've said, they're over three hours for each ride. Um, so also I can get some footage of those rides while we walk past. Now we'll go down to China Wall or maybe towards Shambhala, towards Angle Core. We'll see on the wait as well. I'm back on the park for a couple more times, but I'll come back in a few minutes for you guys. Okay, so this is the Chinese section here in Port of Ventura. Beautiful little section, it's really quite quiet at the moment. The restaurant over there it does open sometimes, probably over today because the park's quite busy. As you pan around slowly, you can see one of Shambhala's magic cast hills that it comes back on its way back in. There goes Ashley. There she is, just there. There's this dragon in front of us, just sometimes spit, so I will be careful with this. I've not seen it spit today. It's beautiful fountain here in Port of Ventura in the, in the China section. from the front of Gunnarsson, here's the queue as we said. Each one has a post opportunity on it, motor pass is available. I think it's seven, seven euros I think for the motor pass. Here's the one we've done in front of the motor pass. It's going to head down a wee little path. Let me go down it, here we go. And that's in front of us. And we're going to head towards the Himalayas in a minute. I think Ashley's going to go to the bathroom first. Maybe for the second time, so it's not too bad. Here's Shambhala entrance. Quick thought, there is lockers available outside Dragon Khan and Shambhala. They are one euro. Let's see if we can work this out for you guys. Number one, put your icon in the slot. Enter a six digit number, it's quite easy. I'll just make it open the first available compartment. Put your bonds in the locker, shut your door when you come back. Put your bonds the keypad. Cheers. Here, and you follow this instructions here, I would believe. Definitely a bit of an ick factor in there. Like, yeah, so they were good, but still not as clean as they probably should be. Um. 
I'm doing like this. You can see we're entering now Shambhala. I'm not going to do it, unfortunately, but that's fine. You know, there's plenty of time to do that while we are here. Here it comes. Right there. Perfect. I'm going to turn that any better if I tried. So there are some statues and so forth from the Martin Method. Now, this very narrow corridor. But it is. And it does get hot in this area as well. There is, there's no shade, there's no breeze. You know, it just it blows, you know, it's nothing. It's just pure heat. And you can see the snow on the uh, roof here which I don't really know how it works because it's 27 degrees outside. This building in front of us now, which I'm not showing you, this is the queue for Shambhala. It queues in the whole section and sometimes it queues outside. I think it will queue outside as well today. Um, here is Shambhala going up the lift hill once again. They run about three trains, I think, on this ride. When it's a three hour wait, I think I've got to, I don't have any choice. Um, I will get some footage and slow it down if I can do in a second of it. But there it goes, it's the absolutely amazing coaster. Which was the method that you can see. Okay, that's me got the slow motion of Shami. I will insert that video clip before this section. Hope it does work out, but well, as I said, we'll be on about back again. Dragon Khan is just set off. You can probably hear it in the background, as I said, it does, a, it does roar a lot. I don't know if that's because of the age or because of being over coaster. So we are now walking between Shambhala and Dragon Khan. I thought we were going to head towards Angkor, so we're waiting on that until the wet for it. So I won't put my camera away from that. I'm not working for that at all because you get very wet on the boat. As you can see, Dragon Khan is now in front and to the right of us over here. No train yet, though, unfortunately. Come out of the bridge where Shambhala, Shambhala is coming over from the channel, come towards Angkor. This ride is probably two years old, four years old, relatively new. Um, we saw them building it on one, Shambhala ones. As I said earlier, this is a water ride. Yeah. Two or three years old, I think. As you walk towards it, you can see the sign in front of it, Angle Court. To the right and left of you is stone elephants. You're not allowed to climb on these, but you do see people do it, so you know, we recommend you don't. And then Q is to the left. Over there, there's a shop also here. Toilets are located to the right. Over here. And then the ride is located in the water, as we said, which is here. Pay a euro and have a squirt and shoot people if you want to. But the idea is, you're on a boat here, someone's on a boat over on this side, and you basically shoot each other. Um, depending on how full your boat is, you can get extremely, extremely wet. This lady over here, I don't know what she's doing, could be nice. She's coming around now, she's videoing her. On a phone. I wouldn't recommend it on a water ride because you will get absolutely soaked. Okay, we're just going to the shop at Angle Court behind us. I was going to show you some things in that shop, but I was told not to video, which I don't really understand because obviously seeing vlogs like this online is how the shop sells. I already videoed in the main shop at Port of Ensure this morning with no issue whatsoever at all. Um, so I don't really understand. I'm a bit confused, really. Okay, so we're walking back to Angkor. You can see the main structure here for Dragon Khan. 
we're not going to go that way, we obviously came back from that way. We're going to head towards Sesame Street Land. Hoping it'll be nice and quiet. There's not many children in the past there, it's more teenagers from their school trips. Um, oh, we can't go that way anymore, we should go that way through the train station. We need to go this way this time. And then we'll cross the train track. And we'll go left in Sesame Street Land. This boy's actually not mentioned food yet because she had no breakfast this morning. I left her in bed for a little bit longer. And she probably wanted a chicken and chicken and rice soon. It is getting to quarter past twelve. It's getting very hot here now. But as I've, it is summer solstice, so it is the longest day. Which I might do later or another day, maybe not today. It's just a, a lookout centre. We have Maggot Fish on the left. We actually don't know what this ride does. We've done this ride many a times. We just go around in a circle. Uh, above is the plane ride, it's sort of a monorail. To the right of us is a food kiosk, which is not open yet, it's going to get ready to open. In front of that is the theatre. We won't do this show though because Ashley doesn't like food for the monsters because of the DVRs. small ride here for children called Tammy Tammy. We do like this as well. It's a small yellow coaster. Quite pleasant. Um, it is a fully ride with like a parachute drop from Disneyland Paris. You have to pull yourself up so it's quite hard work. And to be honest with the heat today I'm not doing that either. There's a shop to the left um, and the monorail to the plane is up there is a good view so we'll do that one day and we'll video the actual area itself from up above. To the left you have the spitting. Is that like pigs I suppose? They're pigs, they're pigs and they throw water from each other. And it's quite cute. Can you use in front of us this is like a small children's block flume. We're going to get to the right is the pirate ship. I will get Ashley on that one day during this holiday. It's not her favourite, but she didn't want it before. We're just, we just gone past the wait time. They haven't changed, it's still the same wait times. And we're just gone past a policeman with a gun, which is nice to see in the park actually, because you the first one I've ever seen in the park. They do a Polynesian show as well here at Port Aventura, which is just on now. So I'll see if I can get a quick footage of that for you while we are in this section. This is my refreshment stand, which is Dallas Stella, Stella, Coats and that kind of thing. To the right is a surf shop. We will do that later, there's a wee lad doing a spot in here. Which I tried before I came away, and for a lot of money I couldn't do it, so I'm not going to show you guys. Over here is Tiki Tiki Splash. More food, fruit and so forth here. Lovely food stand actually, and there's lockers here. We do recommend you get these for TGT Splash. Put everything electronic all away. And maybe don't take a splash, go and do lock room afterwards because you will get extremely, extremely wet while you're on this ride. This is Ash's favourite part, I think, of Port Aventura. There's nothing here. A beautiful waterfall in front of us. But it reminds her a lot of Animal Kingdom. Um, in Walt Disney World in Florida itself. It's just so peaceful. You can block out the noise behind you and it's just absolutely beautiful. 
and I think they've actually realised that they've actually put down a few benches now so you can just relax, chill out and just enjoy the ambience of the waterfall and the birds shooting in the trees Are you hungry yet? Yeah Should we go get some food? Chicken so We are going to head back round to La Cantina Hopefully it is open if it is open, sorry I pressed the wrong button then by mistake. Um, and get some chicken. But actually, and I'm gonna go for I think I've already go for the taco, it's my old table. So rather than going left, I want to go up and down. Because left takes you away, up and down takes you back. Does make make a difference? No, it's the wrong bit. I thought I was thinking the wrong section, so I do have wrong information there guys, so I do apologise. I've got a step to go down now, which is not a good one on vlogging. Not many steps, but steps on the least and a tree. <laughs> which I'm just going to walk through. It's 4D, is what it is. So, as you can see, here's back over here, and then you've got the other logo, the fire land. These are the steps I'm thinking of. And there's always people standing at the stop, I don't know how I still stand here, but I just kind of block the entrance and exit. So when we came this way earlier, we weren't actually vlogging because we put the camera away already. So this is the, the bridge towards Wild Wild West, which is where the rapids are and that kind of thing. The train just passed over to the right of us, over here. We will do that at some point. Maybe not today, but we'll probably get it done. I'm just going to put the camera, leave it on the court, I'm just going to drop it down so you can see our view of what happens when we walk through this section. Okay guys? You know how warm it is today, there's a drink stand that opens at the Grand, the Grand Canyon Rapids. It's not even open. You know, it's quite busy here today, but this should, it's not even open. That's one thing I don't understand about Port Aventure. All these little shacks. It's coming up to 20 past 12, and they're all shut. It doesn't make sense. You know, if you're trying to get a drink or anything that kind of foodie wise to cool yourself down, ice cream, and things, they're shut. I just don't, that's one thing I don't understand about this park. So I just said to Ashley, well this morning I was on about getting some sweets as I left the park. But I've just said now it's actually really hot for sweets. I don't think I'll get any. Um, Cordage, you can't go back on it. I think ice cream is going to be for today. You know, they do lovely ice cream sundaes here, which will be lovely to walk back with. Or even have frozen coffee. Um, but I'll decide after when we get to the front of the park, that's where we'll get it from. We are just approaching now, again, the log flume, which is where Ashley did not the toilet this morning. The queue is now inside, and it looks very long and sweaty and smelly. You know, it's such a tight packed queue. Be warned, it will smell. Okay, just be warned about that, guys. Show how busy it is in this section. It always seems busy, I think, because the paths are a lot narrower than anywhere else in the park. Whether that's the reason or not, I have no idea. Right, guys, I've just finished lunch. I had my chili con carne, and Ash had her chicken. But not with chip, with not with rice, but with chips instead. I'll insert a photo of both here. Um, we also had a Diet Pepsi Diet Coke each. 
which bear in mind the paper full cut was about an inch short of the cut edge. All in all I think it cost about 24 euros which is not too bad for theme park food really but a good meal. It is one of our favourites. But at the minute it does feel like a children's canteen because all of the tour groups have just ascended on us in here. Um, well, they do do shades in here sometimes, they're not on yet. So just bear that in mind if you are going to come. We can get quite busy here. Okay guys, thank you very much. Okay guys, we've just finished dinner. And it was perfect timing to leave, I think. <laughs> because about, felt like about 5,000 kids just arrived for lunch. Um, and we couldn't actually get out to the restaurant without pushing and barging. So we did that. And then we got a shout out in Spanish. I think we got swore in Spanish as well. So I'm quite glad I wasn't recording at that stage, guys. Uh, I have no idea what they were saying. Yeah. So we're just going to, we'll at the minute, we're just going to walk towards China. We're next to Havak and Kondo. We're right next to Havak and Kondo. Um, going to head towards China, along the China Wall. And then I think we're going to head back to the hotel. Um, because it's getting very, very warm now. And it's getting more and more crowded. And it's not... An, it's okay, we've been before, so we're not feeling like we're going to come back. So I don't feel like, <coughs> excuse me, we're in a rush to do all the rides today. So we'll back in a minute for you guys. So I'm currently on a horsey ride. We do this without a fail, maybe twice a trip while we are here at the park. It's just a, it's a kiddie ride really. He's on a horse, he's on a track, and off you go. And Ashley is behind me, she's over there behind the tree. There she is. You can't see it because the tree's in the way, so we'll show in a minute. Now she did a selfie because today is National Selfie Day. And here's our Diablo, just here, which we did this morning. So now approaching the end of the ride. As I said, you know, what's that, a minute and a half? Short and sweet and quite relaxing in it with a little breeze that blows when you're on the ride. Okay guys, we're now on the China Wall, heading down into China. To show you some interesting things they've put down down here. These are all new. I think this is for the train journey, but I'll give you a quick show. We've got some pandas, obviously not real ones. some plane in the tree over here as well. Let's make the train journey a bit more exciting. The queue on the left here, this queue, this is the express pass queue for Dragon Car. When the ride's three hours, that queue's probably an hour to an hour and a half. So you still have to wait then. So if you're going to get a fast pass experience when you are here, you check the wait time before you buy it, you know? Um, because it might not be worth your while getting one. You might still only get on two or three rides. People think they're going to get all the rides in all the park and they get an express, express pass here at Port Aventura. Sometimes that is not the case if the park is as busy as it is today. Um, as you can see, we are walking down now and towards is Dragon Khan and Shambhala. So as you come off this China Wall, uh, the Great Wall of China, there's an area for infants and children. Only infants and children should be on it. At the minute, it's been overrun by the kids from the schools because no one's controlling the area at all. On the right, there's a driving school for young kids also. And there's actually someone on the course watching to make sure they go the right way. You have to follow the directions on the road. So it's actually quite good. It teaches them about, you know, which way to drive, the um, highway code and that kind of thing. So this is this area as well. Another food stand here. And then on the left is their Chinese takeaway area, quick service. We've had it once before. This is the queue at the moment, out the door. We had it once before. Um, and we got attacked by wasps. So it wasn't the best lunch we've ever had, so we've never been back. Shops and things on the right hand side now from me, over here. We are going to go to Ash's favourite shop in a minute on the left. Um, 
it has air condition as well which is also which I've also got talked about today so we'll turn the camera off guys because last time I went in and filmed and I got sold off so I'll back in the shortly okay guys we're now heading out of China as you can see by the sign in front of us um, into Polynesian and once again this area is absolutely roasting it's surrounded by high foliage and trees so there is no breeze at all just the sun beating down on you so just be extra careful in this area okay guys right guys this is us now heading towards the exit of Port Ventura I was going to do a bit of vlog on my way down and show you where the Wally Wagon, Wally Wagon actually goes from because on my vlog I told you the wrong information so I do apologise about that however we're going to get an ice cream um, I think Okay. Ice cream? Yeah. So, I'm going to put the camera away in a minute. Um, we'll be back on later when we are back at the hotel. But for now, guys, from myself, Rob. And Ashley. Come on, come on. From Happy Harris's, it's goodbye for now. See you soon. Bye bye.